Good morning. Today I want to talk about my trip into Barney's when I was in the Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall. I wanted to walk through Sephora and smell everything because as you know there's no Sephora near me and at home. So uh, we smelled everything, poked at everything in Sephora and I wanted to get a Madly blush and I tried it on and I liked it. And, uh, the girl went to even look in the back and they didn't have any. So, okay. And I go, Jessica, I want to go people watching. So we walked through the Fashion Square Mall and then we saw Barney's of New York. And I said, let's go in, just for the fun of it. You go in and it's like going into a living room. I mean, there's not a lot of stuff on the floor. It's just very beautifully done and the counters are spread apart. But I spied Frederick Mao or Malay, I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyway, the um, niche perfume, and it was just bought by Estee Lauder. But there, he, Frederick Malley has several, or a few, perfumers' uh, noses that make the sense. But I wanted to smell Portrait of a Lady, Musk Ravagier, and a couple of others. And right as I was going, you know, they had the big French bottles. You can only get them in France. Maybe you can get them at Barney's. But anyway. And so I'm going, ah, and smelling, and, and spraying, you know, the, the ones I really liked I'd put on. And then the um, sales lady came over, and her name is Nuria Hudson, N-U-R-I-A, and she's in the cosmetics section there. Um, she came over and she said, oh, you know, what, what are you interested in? And I was, uh, and I, I sh had her smell, I'd been in Nordstrom's, and I'd put on Diptyque's low, low Ombre Downs, anyway, it's the... Um, one that follows the candle bays. They're the same. It's black currant and rose. And I had her smell. And she goes, oh, that was nice. And somewhere I had Portrait of a Lady. And we couldn't find it. And she says, I don't smell it either. But she really liked this rose on me. And I told her that I was looking for a spring-summer scent because I have a lot of winter scents. And the only one that came to my mind was the uh, Cher Guy. And I didn't say the Serge Luton, but she knew exactly what I was talking about. So she takes me over to the Sears Luton counter. Oh my gosh, a whole Sears. So she says, well, try this. I mean, she just got me right away. And it was Nut de Cellophane. And I'm, you know, probably much prettier in French. Oh, it was a beautiful floral. There's Narcissus in it. And I don't know, some white flowers or something. And I was like, ah. Oh. And it's, I think, $135 or something there. And I know you can get it on FragranceNet.com for, I don't know, under 70 I think. But anyway, <laughs> so I did that. And I was going, oh my gosh, this musk ravage here is driving me crazy. And she said, oh, if you ever have a scent that you don't like, and or it's too masculine, um, you spray on a little vanilla. So she did the Serge Luton, actually it was this wrist, she did the Serge Luton, uh, Bois de Vanilla, or Vanilla de Bois, over the mu uh, ravager, Musk Ravager, completely changed it. I could, I could stand myself then, and, you know, rather than washing it off, which is pain in the, you know, what, when you're in the middle of Barney's. I said, oh, there's the Kevin Aquan. We were getting done. And I said, oh, there's the Ke She knew I wasn't going to buy anything. And, um, and we were just having fun, because there's nobody else in the store. And so, um, I'm starting to walk around a little bit, you know, and how you leave a cosmetic section we're all scanning so i spied the kevin aquan and i go oh i want to look at this and i said oh your packaging has changed oh yes it's changed and i said oh i have this blush but i never wear it at the shidori which is that pink and i said and i told her the story about i almost got the nars madly and she says no don't get brown um us older ladies shouldn't wear brown uh, blush we should be wearing pinks and it sh because if we wear brown, it shows our age spots and it just dulls us and, you know, but the pink freshens and um, it's just, you know, much more brightening. And she said, did you want me to make you up? Oh, is that a dumb question or what? Ah, it's like a makeup junkie. So without even asking which brand, we went over to the By Terry, but I didn't even look. I just sat in a chair and was like, here. <laughs> and she pulled out. Oh, well, she put I'll do one at a time. I get so excited. And Chris has been after me. Open it, open it. <laughs> so that's why I'm filming this morning, bright and early. Um, she pulled out the By Terry Cellula Rose Blush Glacé Hydra Radiance Aqua Blush. And I am in Frozen Petal. And it's all sealed up because I saved it for you guys. Number three, Frozen Petal. 
Oh, look at this beautiful packaging. Pink with silver. So here it is. It's a gel, I think. Blush glacé, so I'm assuming. I know it was. And she just used like a little eye brush to put it on. And so I'm going to put some on because that's why I have to do this part for, before I talk about anything else because I have no blush or lipstick on. So, I'm out back with the glass because I have to examine everything. Ooh, it has a little plastic cover. Maybe I should wipe it like that. Now, um, she held up a pink one and she held up an orange one and she said the coral is more for me. It's kind of gooky. It's not real full, is it? Huh. It's supposed to be 20, 0.24 ounces. 7 grams. 58 bucks. Well, anyway. She used a minuscule amount, so I'm just going to dab like she did. I will set that on the corner of their magazine that I want to show you later. And I'm, I'm going to take off the glasses. And she dabbed and just blended it in and just kept blending. And she, of course, she doesn't put as much up as I do. Oh, there's the apple. I remember to smile. It's kind of thick, so I'm not spreading as easily as I thought, but it's also very subtle. George is working the door over. John's still in the house, so. So, anyway, I'll work that over a little more, but let me get some more to do the other cheek. This will last forever, even though it didn't look like much was in the, well, in the jar. I wish they'd give you a glob for, <laughs> fill up the jar for $58. And I'm just going to dot. And she kept more out here than, I'm always putting it here and going up. And she says that's fine, but she spread it out down here more. You see? Spread, spread, spread. I'm going to rub. She dabbed, though. It's hard to break your habits. Eh? Oops, this one's darker than the other side. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, it smells like roses. <gasps> I love it. I love rose. I mean, if you, it's not as strong as Chanel's powders, I would say. But I definitely got rose. Oh, it's a beautiful rose. It's not a cheap ray rose, which is a mossy rose. It's more of the tea rose kind of. Well, that's better already, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to carefully put this away. Show you one more. Oh, well, it's open. I brought some other colors that I thought we should look at to compare. And then that'll help you, that'll help you get an idea of how coral or whatever that is. So let's pull out Chanel's Malice or Malice. Is that what this is? Well, now it doesn't look very bright. It used to look real bright. Here it is next to Chanel's Malice. This is much brighter. I think this would be pretty on a blonde. Especially in the spring. So that's the malice. This is Little Masca's Rude. Boy, it dulls that in comparison. No, I'm not going to swatch because this is brand new and I don't want to waste it. <laughs> Someday I'll do a swatch for you. What's this? Oh, this is the, um, no, this will die. This is the Rose Bronze, which I love. So who knows what I know? This is Laura Mercier's Lush Nectarine, which I always have trouble opening. Oh my gosh, it used to be so bright to me. <laughs> Look at the difference. This is going to be a nice color for spring. Um, here we go. I wish you could smell it. Oh my goodness. I wish it was fuller. But I'm going to, I mean, I used a very teeny tip of that. So I better put it back where it was touching. Then she, I had on a Laura Mercier, I can't remember what color, just, you know, your lips, but a little bit darker. And she said, oh, let me put on some lipstick. And so I said, okay. And, and uh, she said, oh, this is real close to that. But it was so pretty. I knew if I went home, I would just sit there and pine for it. So I got Hydrolonic Sheer Rouge Hydra Bomb um, Combier 
Brilliant. Oh, why am I reading the front? Well, yeah. Brilliant Protection UV Hydro Bomb Fill and Plump Lipstick UV Defense. And it's 3 grams or 0.10 ounces. And it's $36. <clears throat> See, if I bought them separately, I would have known they were just expensive. But buying them together, it was $110. But I didn't buy much else. I mean, I got my Ralph Lauren shirt for $17 at Ross. So anyway, let's do the lipstick. I'm opening it up. I haven't even taken it out of here yet. And it's a beautiful silver tube. Dare to dare. And there it is, like every other color I get. And I think I missed out on the Chanel Mademoiselle because I looked at it on the Nordstrom site and it's gone. But maybe I'm just... No. Well, anyway, let's do this. Oh, it feels very... E emollient. Oh, not rose, but there's a slight cosmetic scent to it. Oh, goodness. Oh, I love that color. It has, it goes with, and that's why I bought it, because I, I knew I would pine for it, because it goes with the blush, and it brightens my face. Well, that's a winner. I'm happy. I mean, I wish there was more uh, product in the uh, blush, but, huh, I look a little brighter. <laughs> All right, let's go and keep talking about my experience there. Uh, this is the portrait of a lady. Oh, after I bought this, she said, well, are there any samples you want? I was like, uh, can I portrait of a lady and the cell? Oh, she knew of the cellophane. She pulled out the cellophane and handed it to me. And so I knew I could ask for two samples, you know, or have two samples. So I said, can I have some Portrait of a Lady? Portrait of a Lady is really expensive. They're all the same price. They're whatever it costs them to make, you know, higher price. But here it is, you know, and if you put it on, maybe I will. No, I've got pink sugar on right now, so I won't. But if you put it on, it lasts all day. I'm not buying any more stuff that lasts for half hour. So, um, that's the, um, and I had its description, too. I wrote it down so I could tell you. Um, Portrait of a Lady. Um, the 10 milliliters is $66. 50 milliliters is $240. It's rose essence and patchouli. So, if you don't like patchouli, you probably won't like it. But oriental rose, benzoin, cinnamon, sandalwood, patchouli, musk, and frankincense. So to me, it's going to be a beautiful fall winter scent, and maybe in the summer if you're going out in the evening and you just want to <laughs> really um, get the message across. <clears throat> the she gave me a sample of the uh, Nuit de Cellophane by Serge Luton. Fruity, floral, jasmine, osmanthus, which is a nice sweet scent. Carnation, lily, milky almond, sandalwood, and musk. I love musk. And finished with a sweet honey. 50 milliliters is $135. And I know you don't care. It just looks like a little sampler, but... I think I did spray myself once with it so I can kind of get a little bit of the, that floral. It's just, it just screams spring. It just, you know, when the first flowers are coming out, you're going, oh, I'm finally out of winter. And I hope to bring you guys some sunshine that are back east and they're just, I can't believe your weather. It's just brutal. And so you guys have my heartmost sympathy. I'm not gloating over our weather. I'm trying to send you some happiness and, you know, spring's coming. But that um, Nuit de Cellophane, yeah, because when French has a vowel at the end, um, you pronounce it, but if it has a consonant at the end, you don't, like Rabagier, there's an R on the end. So anyway, oh gosh. Another scent that I smelled was Carnal Flower, and I said, I love this. It's a Gardenia tuberose, and it's very, you know, smacky in the face, Gardenia. Um, my husband doesn't like me in gardenia. Her, my husband hates gardenia, so I don't wear it. And I kind of told her, eh, he says it's too strong. I love it. And then she showed me a, a hair mist. And for 100 milliliters, that was $170. Um, for the kernel flower, just, I think the perfume for 10 milliliters, you can get a little 10 milliliter one, which is, I don't know how many ounces, a part of an ounce, is $70. So it's and the Portrait of a Lady, I could get um, 10 milliliters for $66, and they're both by Frederick Mao. 
Anyway, she said the hair mist is less, and what she does is she just lifts her hair up and sprays the back of her hair, and then that's plenty for her to wear. So it would last forever, that $170 one. Now, let's see, that's all of that. And I did tell you her name is Nuria Hudson. So, and her phone, well, I should tell you, and then I'd send her some business. She won't know it's me, but... Um, It's a 210-274-9199. Well, anyway, in the store all over, they had these magazines. So, of course, Jess and I grabbed one. And it, uh, still life photographs, beauty photographs. So, you know, it's, it's a piece of art. This is NARS. It's a Mad Mad World. Um, so they're advertising the NARS colors that way. Um, and I've never heard of make, but there's make uh, blushes. Here's the uh, Serge Luton now has a beauty. But, oh, let me read you the price. Uh, the nail enamel is sixty-five dollars. The lipstick is eighty dollars, and the crayon pour le lip must be lipstick um, lip pencil is fifty-five dollars on that page. Um, so it makes Armani look really good when they have their lipstick for thirty-four dollars. There's Shantikai. Shantikai is crazy expensive. Um, oh, Mojave Ghost. They just made that one sound good. Most arid regions in the world, yet life persists. They're a rare, beautiful flower, the ghost flower. Um, it has certain brightness, which breaks into a smoldering background. Top notes include Embret and Jamaican Nesbury, with heart notes of violet, sandalwood, and magnolia, held by base notes of Chantilly musk, crisp amber, and cedarwood. 100 millimeters, $220. Um, there's clay to Poe. You can get um, refills and buy the um, uh, case. And oh, here's brushes. Um, they go from $45 to $230. Um, various perfumes and things. Now, here's um, who's this? Yves Saint Laurent, Yves Lom, and Claudio Reyes. Here's NARS, the vault. You get the fingernails of the, and the fingernail polish and the lipsticks in the Audacious. And then here's just the Audacious. Okay, this one's $500. <laughs> and it would be that anywhere, not just Barney's. Well, all their prices, I'm sure, are everywhere. Sunday Riley, I've heard about it, but I don't know anything about it. Lemire, of course. Here's the By Terry uh, lip balm, and the rose one is their classic one, but they come in colors. And they're $56, but I hear wonderful things about them. And this was the Eau de Magnolia that I showed you, $255 for how many milliliters? 100. And, oh, Hourglass, Lipstick Queen. Oh, this is Diptyque. They've got a new thing here. The Essence is in, in, in Scentsies. So it's a floral. Um, Lush Mimosa enhanced with a touch of spice from pink peppercorn tempered by soft balsamy warmth. Um, think Pink. Anyone can pull off pink lips, but a daring rosy eye paired with barely their nude lip turns this trend on its head. Kevin Aquan, so here's kind of shows the packaging. Berg, that's by Terry. She has some perfumes. Um, I didn't smell any of her. Well, I did, but I was my brain was on the Frederick Mal. Um, Helmut Lang, um, Sicily, Beauty is Life, never heard of them. Eve Long. Tom Ford Velvet Orchard. I smell, I sprayed a little bit of that on me when I was in Nordstrom, and it, all his are very masculine to me. And so for a while, I thought the one I kept smelling all the way home and all the evening was that. But it turned out when I smelled my sample, it was Portrait of a Lady, and I was glad because I had the sample. And then they have the Bobby Brown. And at the very last page is the Serge Lutin Le Incendarine. Anyway, this was a fun magazine. I think that was all I was going to tell you about on the cosmetic side of the trip. Uh, in future videos, I will show you um, some of the things we did on the trip. And I forgot to bring anything up, but this video is brought to you by JBS Farm Soaps. Um, there's bath bombs. I'm going to make some more flavors and, and some more designs in the bath bombs. They're so much fun. Um, they, you put them in your tub and they fizzle and sizzle and then um, scent it and it your skin just smells so smooth. And I'm going to get into making bubble bars too because I have some exciting 
scents that I want to try that way. I've got that makeup uh, brush soap. I love it. It's got tea tree in it, so it helps, ups, you know, with the little bacterial action, maybe. <laughs> anyway, I better get off the horn here and let you go. So until next time, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.